Today is October 10th. Back on this day in history in 1871, the Great Chicago Fire is finally extinguished after three solid days of burning, leaving approximately 300 dead and 100,000 homeless. This cost over $222 million in damage. That would be $4.6 billion today. For you old people, the Bob Newhart Show premiered on this date in 1961. In 1978, singer Steve Perry, unrelated to Colin, joins the rock band Journey. Meryl Weiss, Journey. In 1994, the New York football giants retire Lawrence Taylor's number 56 on this date. Merrill also likes woozing. Thor Ragnarok, the best Phase 3 movie, premieres on this date in 2017. And for some wholesome moments, Phil Williams became a father on this day in 1983. All this happened on Today in History, October 10th. Tonight, the ladies volleyball team in their regular season in a match at Randolph Southern. First serve is at 6 p.m. This will be an excellent tune-up match for the sectional opener against Seton Catholic. Our ladies took Seton to five sets with a tough loss earlier this week. Good luck, ladies. Celebrating a birthday today is Kiss's own drone pilot extraordinaire and Elvis fan, Alec Presley Spence. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Alec. For lunch tomorrow, we are having French bread, pepperoni pizza, steamed broccoli, fresh baby carrots with dip, pears and cherry jello, pineapple, and milk. Apache Design is trying to help out a, with a t-shirt fundraiser for the Poole family. Devin and Kayla are graduates of Union City Junior Senior Community High School. Their twins were born at 24 and a half weeks. Emmett and Elias will likely to spend the next three months in St. Vincent's Woman's Care. All proceeds from this fundraiser will be donated to help with their expenses. You can pick up a form in the office or see Ms. Keel. We will be reading through the senior class play today after school in Mr. Zimmer's room. Seniors, be sure to look at email for a link to the e-script as well as a shared document for the cast sign-up list. In the junior high play practice will resume on Monday, October 14th, from after school until 4.45. Pages 23 and 44 need to be memorized and ready to go. Good afternoon, Union City Junior Senior High School. Uh, this is your assistant principal here. Um, I just wanted to make a quick announcement uh, regarding the, the vaping situation that we've seen um, time and again here in our building. Um, number one, if, if, if you're taking part in that or you know people who are, um, please, please cut it out. It's, a, it's just a health hazard. It's a, it's a dangerous thing right now. We're, you know, we're seeing a lot of um, health scares really nationwide right now um, when it comes to vaping. Um, so it's just not, not a smart or a, a healthy, safe thing to do. Um, and unfortunately, um, here and in a lot of other places, um, schools have, have seen an uptick in that. Um, so I have Officer Dudley here with me. Um, he's uh, going to explain what the policy plan is moving forward um, with vaping. If you're caught, um, you know, either smoking or even even with possession um, of a vape pen or any sort of um, vaping device. So Officer Dudley is going to give us the legal ramifications here. Yeah. So as many of you are probably already aware, uh, being in possession of a vape pen or, or even the cartridges or just uh, tobacco, whether that's chewing tobacco or or cigarettes uh, is illegal um, in the state of Indiana if you're under the age of 18 and if you're in possession of that in the school even if you are 18 uh, still against the law uh, so it would be what's considered a class C infraction in the state of Indiana uh, which uh, you could be cited a citation uh, which could require um, obviously paying a fine uh, up to anywhere of a couple hundred dollars uh, and or a mandatory court appearance so uh, kind of from this point forward, um, citations uh, will be issued to anybody who's caught with uh, any type of tobacco products, whether you're 18 or not, um, if you're in the school, and hopefully that kind of curves some of this. Uh, it's not really a punishment per se. Uh, there's just not really a, a lot of things known uh, as far as the risks of vaping and, and things like that, and it's more a safety concern for the school. So. Um, we've tried a couple of different things. We've talked to some uh, individuals who've already been caught for this, and it really hasn't uh, uh, changed or curved any of the behavior. So um, moving forward, uh, citations will be issued to anybody who's caught with these products. 
68. Yeah, and I'm glad I also didn't mention any tobacco product. I specifically was talking uh, about vaping, but it, it can be chewing tobacco, right cigarettes, any, any sort of, of tobacco Baldwin product. Um, just use some common sense, do your part, um, be and uh, an hopefully we can, uh, we can get this taken care of. Even forward, so. Thank you. That's all for the Indian Beat. Have a great day.